Hey there geographers and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Last time we looked at 5.1 where we talked about different types of agriculture around the world. Today we're going to be going into unit 5, topic 2. We're going to be looking at different settlement patterns and survey methods. The first type of rural settlement patterns we can see is clustered settlements. Homes and buildings are closely packed together. This creates a higher population density in the settlement and allows citizens to have more day-to-day -day interactions with each other. All of this could create a closer community feel. The next settlement pattern we could observe is a dispersed settlement pattern. Here the homes and buildings are further apart. This reduces the amount of daily interactions you might have with your neighbor, but it does allow for people to utilize and interact more with their natural environment or the farmland that surrounds their home. Now we have one more settlement pattern before we go on to the next part of this standard, which is survey methods, and that's linear settlements. These settlements develop along a road, a river, or some transportation method. They develop along a line, hence the linear settlement pattern. So we've covered the different settlement patterns, and now we're going to look at different survey methods used. We're going to go over meets and bounds, long lots, and a township and range. Meets and bounds are often used for short distances, and they rely heavily on key geographic features of a place. Meets are often straight lines that connect different points of a geographic area, while the bounds are the key geographic features of an area. The next survey method is long lots. Here land is divided up into narrow parcels, and each parcel has access to a transportation system, whether it be a canal, a river, or a major roadway. Our last survey method is a township and range, which utilizes longitude and latitude and a baseline. Here the townships are going north to south, while the range goes west to east. This creates a grid-like pattern across the land. And just like that, geographers, you now know the different settlement patterns and survey methods that you need to know for 5.2. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing. It'll help support the channel, allow me to make more videos, and make sure that you get notified when I post new topic review videos in the future. Also, if you need a little extra help with your AP Human Geography class, don't forget to check out my Ultimate Review Packet. It's a great resource that'll help you get an A in your class and a 5 on that national exam. Alright, geographers, I'm Mr. Sin, and until next time, I'll see you guys online.